which is when cells reproduce by growing and dividing. Now sit back and relax and enjoy the video. The cell cycle is broken down into three stages. The first stage of the cell cycle is called the interphase. In the interphase, there are three main checkpoints, G1, G0, S, and G2. G1 is a substage right after the cell divides. It carries out its normal functions while preparing to duplicate in DNA. Following G1 is G0. This is when some cells temporarily exit the cycle and stop dividing or permanently leave because they can't divide anymore. An example is brain cells and muscle cells. You can't replace them and they can't divide. S phase is next, also known as synthesis phase, is when the cell duplicates its chromosomes, the structure that carries the DNA. Chromatin is the relaxed form of DNA but it is found in the cell's nucleus. The last substage of interphase is G2. This is when the nucleus was, is prepared for dividing and the cell makes one last check to make sure all is well for mitosis. After interphase and all its substages are complete, mitosis begins, also breaking down into four other components. The first stage and longest is prophase. During this stage, the nuclear membrane disappears along with the nucleolus and the chromatins condense into chromosomes, which contains all genetic material and are in the shape of an X. These structures are called sister chromatids. As you can see here, the sister chromatids are linked together, the attaching point being called the centromere. This piece guarantees the copy DNA will become part of the new cells soon to come. As the nucleus disappears, spindle fibers are created in the cytoplasm, along with centrioles, located at the end or poles of the cell, and another similar structure are the astrofibers, which come out of the centrioles. All three of these structures is called the spindle apparatus, and is very key in preparing and moving the chromosomes. The spindle fibers attach to each other, each side of the sister chromatid centromere. The next stage of mitosis is metaphase, the shortest stage. This is when the sister chromatids are pulled to the center of the cell, or equator, by motor proteins. This helps make sure the new cells have the correct amount of chromosomes. You may ask yourself, all right, each phase checks to make sure everything is running smoothly, but what happens when something goes wrong? We've all heard of cancer, and it's the answer to your question. Cancer is the result of cells overdividing and growing, not being able to stop. These cells overcrowd normal cell space and bring the downfall of tissue function. The second to last stage is anaphase. This is when the spindle apparatus starts to shorten, pulling the sister chromatids by the centromere and causing them to split and separate into two identical chromosomes. And the last but not least stage of mitosis is telophase. This is when the chromosomes have safely made their way to the poles of the cell and start to relax, bringing the nuclear membranes back and nuclei starting to appear. Sadly, the spindle apparatus starts to disappear, but some parts will be reused to build the cytoskeleton. Now that all the steps of mitosis are complete, cytokinesis begins, the last stage of cell division. This is when the cytoplasm is divided, giving us two individually identical cells. In order to split the cytoplasm, it is pinched and contracted, this arrow being called a furrow, and the cell is split in half. For plant cells, pinching is not involved, but instead the formation called a cell plate forms in between, and cell walls start to form on either side. After they are fully formed, you have two identical cells. Well now class, we have reached our final destination. The cell has divided into two. Now I hope you learned a lot, and don't forget about Democracy. Yeah, I got more records in the KGB. So, uh, no funny business. What if you were awesome. sorry, you'd be up on your knees crying to me. Oh, uh -huh. I'm very sorry. No, she, you are not sorry. I told you not finger the dough and your finger in the dough. I'm palming the dough. I'm palming the dough. <laughs> this cake just might not turn out the way it's supposed to be. I'm very sorry. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> ma'am, what are you doing here? What am I doing? We're making bloopers. <laughs> You're making bloopers. <laughs> We're making bloopers. Zip it. Bloopers. We're making bloopers. Well, no, we're making a cake. But 
Because she fingered the dough. No, she's palming the dough when she's supposed to be fingering the dough. I can't believe this. What do you think about it, sir? I think it's okay. Whatever. Whatever. It'd be nice to blow the dough. Blow in the dough. I tell her, no palming the dough when she's palming the dough. When my elbows do. Uh, one, two, palm the dough. Okay, whatever. Signing out. Wait, move the wig. Okay, now, that's a little disturbing. <laughs> I don't really like that. Ugh. But, uh, <laughs> That was kind of freaky too. So, hey, Devin and Will. Devin and Will. Give me a Look, wave. you're in the bloopers. Watch, watch, watch. watch wave, I'm wave. Totally. Yay, Devin, I'm wave. Totally. Devin, wave. So I look Stop. different when I have blonde hair. Always oh, dang it, Erica. Oh, yeah, it's because I it's the something. brown hair coming through. And Do I look different when you're blonde with brown hair? Yeah. Is, oh, no. Okay, Catch I'm it. stopping the bloopers. Oh, Everyone say goodbye. No, I know I was Bye. Like,